Okay, so we know how the XRT compares to the X-Max. Let's not forget that there's other vehicles that can compare directly to the XRT, and that's from Arma, the Creighton 8S. So why don't we unpack an 8S Creighton and just check it out side by side, how it compares. So let's go ahead and grab a Creighton 8S from up here. And we're just gonna hold them side by side and see how they compare. Okay, all right. Okay. Okay. Why? Now we've got the new Traxxas XRT and the Creighton 8S over here from Arma. Okay. We are going to go into detail here just so we can see exactly how they stack up. So. First things first, we got Traxxas and we've got Arm over here. Now, they're both Truggies, okay? And they're both going to be optimized for good handling, all right? Now, in the last video, we talked about how the XRT compares to the X-Max, which is a little bit more of a basher. We're going to directly compare the Crane 8S and the XRT, okay? The first thing I'm noticing between the two, all right? The Creighton's tires look a little bit taller than the tires on the XRT, okay? Just slightly, they're pretty close, but they've got a pretty different tread pattern. Uh, this looks like maybe good for loose dirt. Um, it's got you know quite a bit of grip. The Creighton's got a little bit of a uh, different tread pattern here. These are the Copperhead tires. Now, the next thing to point out is the height difference between the two. You can see the Creighton sits a little bit higher than the XRT does and the Creighton has a bit more ground clearance than the XRT does. The XRT is definitely lower to the ground than the Creighton is, okay? Now, the XRT, we already know it handles extremely well, and initially the reason to go with the Creighton 8S was because the X-Max out of the box being a lot higher off the ground, a little bit more top heavy, you wouldn't get the good handling like you would with the Creighton 8S. Now you have the Traxxas XRT, which kind of fills that void for good handling. The Creighton is slightly longer in wheelbase than the XRT is. And when we're talking wheelbase, we're talking about from hex to hex over here, okay? From the center to center, center to center, all right? The Creighton has a 19.33 inch wheelbase. The XRT has an 18.9 inch wheelbase. So the Creighton is slightly longer, only by a little bit, but the XRT is just a little bit shorter and the XRT's wheelbase is actually identical to the X-Max's wheelbase, if you're curious. Height-wise, we did just talk about, but if we want exact measurements, the Creighton is 10.47 inches, okay? And that's, you know, to the roof, from where it sits on the ground to the roof. And then the XRT is 10.2 inches. So the XRT definitely is a little bit lower to the ground, right? Total length, we're talking bumper to the end of the wheelie bar. The XRT technically is a little bit longer just because it's got a larger front bumper. The Creighton doesn't really have much of a front bumper on it. And the Creighton does not have a wheelie bar pre-installed on it either. So for that reason, the XRT is slightly longer overall. But like we talked about, the wheelbase, which really matters more than technically the length overall, uh, the wheelbase is a little bit shorter on the XRT than it is the Creighton. Let's talk about one really important detail here, which is the weight difference between these two. The Creighton weighs 24.2 pounds, okay? The XRT weighs 21.3. And the reason for that is, and we're gonna take off the bodies on them to show you the real difference between them, now, the XRT has an aluminum chassis. The, wait. <laughs> Creighton 8S has an aluminum chassis. The XRT has a plastic chassis, similar to the X-Max. Let's get the bodies off of them, just so we can get a little bit of a closer look, okay? So we're gonna pull the body off the XRT. It's a clipless body design, all right? And let's get the body off of the Creighton. We've got body clips on the Creighton.
Okay. Some big tough body clips here. Oh yeah. Nice. One more. Good. Okay. Put that body off. Now we can see really where the weight difference comes into play here. The Creighton, you can see you've got these metal rods for support for the chassis, okay? You've got a, a lot of metal support down here near the chassis. The chassis is aluminum. Over to the XRT, we're seeing a lot more plastic. The chassis is plastic tub chassis. If you were to look between these two vehicles, you can kind of see that there's a lot more going on here on the Creighton. We've got, you know, we've, we've got a cat pack here. We've got some wires um, on the XRT. Um, it's definitely a little bit more of a cleaner setup. You know, we've got the dual motor fans on here with the heat sink on the Creighton. We've got the single motor fan with the heat sink, okay? We want to talk about the motors for a moment here. The Creighton comes with a 1250 kV motor and the XRT has a 1200 kV motor. So the XRT has a little bit of a lower kV and they also run slightly different gearing out of the box. The XRT has a 20 tooth pinion and a 50 tooth spur stock out of the box. The Creighton has a 23 tooth pinion and a 47 tooth spur stock out of the box. Okay, now out of the box, obviously this Creighton is brand new. Um, we have been running this one quite a bit. Uh, they advertise about 60 miles per hour for the XRT and about 55 miles per hour for the Creighton. Those two speeds are both measured with the high speed gearing. Just to bring the X-Max into this a little bit, the X-Max is 19.1 pounds without batteries, but with the body installed, so 19.1 pounds. Then comes the XRT, okay? XRT was 21.03 pounds, and then comes the Creighton at 24.2 pounds. So the Creighton is the heaviest out of these three 8S models. So let's get the bodies back on these vehicles here. We'll put the Creighton body back on and then we're going to flip them on their side so we can really see if there's a difference in the width between the two. Any minute now. Now, let's put this one back on. Boom, done, all right, nice work. So, let's get these on their side. Okay, and the Creighton. Try hard not to drop it. Is brand new. Okay, so I'm just gonna hold them up here and it looks to be like they are about, mm, I would say pretty much exactly the same width. Um, yeah, it looks, looks pretty much identical. I can't really tell the difference here. Okay, now I can't really see what you guys are seeing right now but this is where you can really tell the difference between the two chassis, okay? We've got the aluminum chassis on the Creighton, and we've got the plastic chassis on the XRT. One last thing, okay, that I want to mention that's a pretty big difference between the two, if you come in closer, and you look on the inside of the wheels here, the Creighton has balls here, okay? Here, you have the same setup as the X-Max, okay? There's no ball joints. Now, the ball joints, sometimes if you get dirt in them, they get a little bit loose. Here, it's a little bit of a simpler setup on the XRT, similar to the X-Max, which definitely improves the bashability and the durability, and just having a little bit of a simpler setup is definitely nice uh, when you're doing some hard bashing. Okay. All right, so there you have it, comparison between the XRT and the Creighton. Now, if anybody's got a Creighton 8S that they want to uh, let us borrow to do a real head-to-head, -head, maybe a um, tug of war between the two, you know, let us know. Okay, come to Sanford Hobby Town and bring it by. Uh, this one's brand new, so that's, you know, we're not going to do it with a brand new uh, crate in here, but the XRT, this is our store demo, so we've been uh, messing around with it. We'll just do one final kind of overall, just so you can kind of, you know, see how they compare. XRT, crate in 8S, all right, pretty sweet. Okay, there you have it. Uh, comparison between the two vehicles right here, here at Sanford Hobbytown. We'll see you in the next video.